Hi, and welcome back to Scratch. Today, we're going to make kid-friendly eggnog. If you'd like to support the channel, please like and share this recipe. For this, we'll need 12 eggs, 3 cups of cream, 3 cups of whole milk, 1 and a third cups of sugar, 1 and a half teaspoons of nutmeg, a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, and 2 tablespoons of vanilla extract. We'll start by cooking 2 cups of whole milk and 2 cups of cream. We'll whisk our milk and cream together and set our stovetop to medium-low heat to give us time to work with our eggs. Next, we'll separate our eggs using a three-bowl method, collecting the yolks with a slotted spoon and separating out the whites. We're using a three-bowl method in case a yolk breaks like it does here. After separating the eggs, we'll return the whites to the fridge until we're ready to use them. Then, we'll remove our milk and cream mixture from the stovetop and beat together our egg yolks, sugar, nutmeg, vanilla, and cinnamon. Adding our sugar a little at a time to ensure it dissolves. Once we've beaten together our egg yolks, sugar, nutmeg, cinnamon, and vanilla, we'll temper the yolk mixture by slowly adding the milk and cream mixture, a tablespoon or two at a time to ensure the egg yolks don't cook. Once the yolks have tempered, we can slowly add more of our heated cream and milk mixture. After combining all of our milk mixture with all of our egg mixture, we'll return it to the pot. Then, we'll return the mixture to the stovetop over medium-low heat. We'll whisk the mixture constantly until it begins to thicken up. The whisking prevents the egg yolks from solidifying. When the mixture is almost done, the frothy layer on top will begin to disappear. This process should take between 10 and 15 minutes. We'll go ahead and test the eggnog to see if it's thick enough to coat the back of the metal spoon. It is, so we'll remove our eggnog from the heat and add one cup each of chilled cream and milk to stop the cooking process. We'll whisk this in and allow our eggnog to cool to room temperature before incorporating the egg whites. This should take about an hour. After our egg and cream mixture has cooled to room temperature, we'll remove our egg whites from the fridge and beat our egg whites until stiff peaks form. While it's possible to do this by hand, I recommend using a standard hand mixer. On medium speed, once the egg whites can hold stiff peaks, we'll fold them into our eggnog mixture until fully incorporated. The whipped egg whites are optional, but give the eggnog a creamy texture. Once fully incorporated, we'll transfer our eggnog to a gallon jug and allow it to chill for two to three hours before serving. And remember, if you like the content, please subscribe.